face off for the biggest prize in sport. Two giants on collision course in the heaviest title fight in history. A supreme three time world champion, a man who'd seen off all his rivals. A new force on the heavyweight scene with 31 stoppage wins in 32. Ladies and gentlemen from Staples Center, Los Angeles, California. Let's get ready to rumble! Instructional adjustment. I want a good, clean fight. Listen to my commands. Shake hands and await the bow. Good luck to both. In LA, sits. Well, he's back now. Will Lewis tried to jump on Klitschko early on. Looking for that right hand straight away. Klitschko with his awkward but sometimes effective style gets in with a right hand as they work in close to... Who establishes control with the jab? Watch for that as it gets... I think the jab is a key, Ian. Somebody's got to try and get control with that punch. And although Klitschko is a couple of inches taller at six feet seven, it's Lewis who has the reach advantage of about six inches. It's a huge 84-inch wingspan for Lewis. Well, I'm sure Klitschko is getting his first surprise, feeling the physical strength of Lennox Lewis. I think all the fighters that go wrong, he is. Maybe he's feeling the strength of Klitschko too. Gets there with a the right hand that momentarily seemed to trouble Lewis who hasn't got his jab going yet. Well, the right hand is the danger, but so we'll be looking to capitalise on that. No sign of Klitschko freezing early on. He's holding his own. Lewis is giving away six years. Klitschko has only lost once in 33 fights, and that was on an injury. It's a good start, this, by Klitschko, who rams in a very good-looking right hand. He's getting the better of things in this opening round. First year, and he's getting through that jab. And the right hand forces Lewis back. Signs of early problems, but Lewis has been there and done it so many times before. 18 stone, four and a half pounds around. Looking for the right hand over the top. Lewis does sometimes leave his left quite low and leaves himself open to that. At last, Lewis gets the jab working and an uppercut. Yeah, they think Klitschko's already breathing heavily after that first round. The first round, which he was a little busier in, and he got through the couple of nice shots. They love a big fight in LA. They haven't had enough of them. But this Staples Center had a thriller between uh, Shane Mosby and Oscar De La Hoya a couple of years back. Klitschko started well, but can Lewis get his jab going? Oh, there's a big right hand from Klitschko. He seemed pretty nerveless all week. I had no emotion, he said, when I heard I was fighting Lewis. And yet again, his quick hands troubling the long reigning champion. In a little bit of sharpness early on. Well, there might be ring rust. Over a year out of the ring, it's the longest break in his... Taking this at two weeks' notice and gets it with the right hand, and Lewis wants to hold. He's hurt by that. He wanted a hold. Klitschko has got him a bit wobbly here. Lewis is in trouble here in round two. Early on here. Can Lewis turn this around again? He's hit with the right hand. By this big, strong Ukrainian. Lewis looking upon. This might happen when we saw the way, but there's a left jab of some authority by Lewis, and that rocked Klitschko momentarily. Stopped him in his tracks. It was a heavy, heavy shot. Best yet from Lewis. But Klitschko comes back again, and Lewis, his defence looks a bit leaky tonight. Well, I think there's definitely ring rust there. He's looking. Slow and ponderous. The longer this goes, it won't get any easier. Another right hand and another one from Klitschko, who looks the boss at the moment. 
but you never know, this is the kind of fight where one punch could turn the whole thing around. Well, Lennox is trying to take the fight to Klitschko, but he's walking on the punches as he comes forward. Klitschko got there with a left hook as well. Lewis is trying to gamble with big shots, he's forgotten the jab, and he's leaving himself really open. He just looks a shadow of himself at the moment. Where's that authority and sharpness and snap? And Klitschko... At the moment, all he's doing is walking forward, trying to gamble, and he's leaving himself wide open. Klitschko's teeing off with big right hands like that. He just seems to be without any sort of game plan. He doesn't seem to know what he wants to do, Lennox. Stewart seems certain that the hook is going. Klitschko, Dr. Iron Fist, as he's known. He's beginning to show why in here. And now Lewis goes for it. Is he going to show championship quality here with an all-out attack? Well, ever known. So he's going to try and do something special here. Looks a bit of damage by Lewis's left eye and there's a cut now by Klitschko's left as he turns around Klitschko is cut by the left eye good work with the jab from Klitschko well, there'll be tremendous excitement in the city square in Kiev where I think a hundred thousand people were planning to gather to watch this but Lewis isn't done with yet not quite this is better from Lewis He's got a real problem with that cut, Glenn. He has, and we know he doesn't react well when he's injured. Quit the last time, he's only lost. The better of things. Now Lewis starts to find the range with that jab. Is Klitschko going to be discouraged by the injury? This is where his lack of experience at this rarefied level might There's the jab again. Is there a turning of the tide in this round with the cut? He walked onto a right hand, Lewis, but walked straight through it, surprisingly. The left hand is down from Lewis. He can't afford to gamble too much. The cut's a terrible mess. It's almost a case of which of these two oak trees will be the last standing in the forest. But I think that cut has worried Klitschko. They need to get to work on that and quickly. Otherwise, it might signal the end of his hopes in the fight. He looks dispirited all of a sudden. Oh, it's terrible. It's oh, terrible. A really, really bad cut. What's that? Oh, a horrible gash, which might signal the end of the fight. That Ian. No, it's a really bad gash, and it's a shame. He was caught, too, with jabs, and once he got the jab going, he got some other punches going, too, Lewis. Well, that, that's good, that right hand. Klitschko has to go for it here. Big right hand from Lewis. He's mauling... There's no knockdown there. He missed with the left hand. Oh, and Klitschko then looks as if he tried to kick Lewis while on the floor. Lewis picks him up. Burst into applause. Lewis just looking for the big right hand. He senses victory, senses he can land. There are moments here where they both look ready to go. Lewis has caught a little short right hand, still dropping that left, got to be careful in there. What about Lewis's stamina, Glenn? And somehow he's come through it. Well, nobody's ever doubted Lewis's heart. Another big right hand. But Lewis gets back again with the jab. It's fascinating, this. You wouldn't like to call it from this point, would you? You certainly wouldn't. It's a really tough fight for both these competitors. The feeling that one of these two is going to... De Lyle 
last few seconds of round four. Klitschko just the busier. And two heavyweights who look like they've done some stop Roy Harris, who is at ringside tonight, still looking well. This is the round that Emmanuel Stewart, the trainer of Lewis, predicted a finish in. Lewis looking for the, the uppercut. from Lewis, turned the punch cleverly. But Klitschko's been used to going long distances in his recent fights. Six out of the last seven have gone at least nine rounds. Well, he's loading up an awful lot, Lennox. That'll take a lot more out of him as he hammers that body. Well, he's hit in about a dozen shots to the ribcage. Is Klitschko prepared to go through the pain barrier this time, to fight in the trenches? He's going to do it this time. He can't walk away from it, as he did when he had the shoulder pain, he said that night. Others didn't believe him. Good left hook there for Klitschko. He seems to be just the boss, doesn't he? Lewis looking a bit troubled and disorganised as he sacks against the ropes. Is he trying to just play possum a bit and invite Klitschko in? I don't think so. I think he's tired. He's tottering a bit around the ring, Lewis. He is, I think he's feeling it. He might not win it at all. Lennox is getting a bit swollen under his left eye, too. Showing good boxing ability as well. Klitschko is just caught there by a right hand. Luckily, it just seemed to glance off the temple rather than catch him flush. The cut's worse again for Klitschko. And it comes at a point where he looks dominant. Good job from, from Lennox there. If the fight was stopped because of that cut now, they would go to the scorecards. Well, Lewis fought well for the last 20 seconds of the round. But Klitschko breathes heavily as he goes back to the corner and his face is a mess. Is there a cut on the cheek as well? Or is that just the blood from the eye? I think the cheek's cut as well. Yeah. Another gas. All around that left eye is swollen and cut. It's exactly the same as me. The other's all to Klitschko, who's just been busier. The crowd in this $375 million arena sends a possible shock, but it's only a of Lennox Lewis's third reign as world heavyweight champion. Our American TV colleagues have it closer with Klitschko only a point ahead. Good shots again from the Ukrainian. These two fighters were involved just being around Lewis. He sensed weaknesses about him. He studied him, fought the fight a thousand times in his head. Oh, what an uppercut from Lewis! Absolute peach! But Klitschko took that too without doing his bottle here, isn't he now? He really is. With such damage, he's still run the eyes. Worth reminding ourselves that in his last fight, Vitaly Klitschko was the first man to stop the durable lead. I think that uppercut has caused blood from Klitschko's mouth as well. He's just scoring, by the way, as the heads clash on the end. Real action in this round, a lot of clinching. Sharp little left hook. And Klitschko looks strong as he bulls Lewis back across the ring. Not two bows, anything. But I think Lewis tonight might have met someone who's as physically strong as him. Yeah, I think that might be that might be true. And if he is, Lennox will be feeling it more. Oh, there's the uppercut again from Lewis, who is showing some championship quality because he's tired. But this is not a fighter at his peak anymore. This is around the age when Joe Lewis and Muhammad Ali came apart at the scene. Okay? Turn your head,
down the old level, you've got to get out here. Get it 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 out here. They stopped the fight. They stopped the fight and they're going to declare Lewis the winner. They think it was caused by a punch. It doesn't go to the scorecards. The crowd are in uproar. But Lewis is still the champion. Klitschko cannot go on because of the cuts. The end comes suddenly at the end of round six. In a fight that must have been in the balance. But I think there's going to be a row here. Should they be going to the cards? Well, there's arguments. Klitschko shouting, no, no, he can't believe it. I don't think Klitschko knows he was retired. Absolute mayhem here. Arguments going on. Lewis has been declared the winner by the referee, who must have thought a cut caused it. But if it was deemed to be a clash of heads, an accidental, they should be going to the scorecards. They should be. He's, he's furious in there, Klitschko. And Alex Lewis being declared the winner here. The Lewis. big Los Angeles crowd are not happy about that ending. But those are bad injuries. Klitschko is claiming a moral victory. And it would be interesting to know what the cards were saying at that point, wouldn't it? It certainly would be. Lennox has got a cut on the nose in the last round. But the crowd have rallied around to Klitschko's case a little bit. We await some clarification, but we believe Lennox Lewis has been declared the winner of the fight. Certainly the referee did that. And Adrian Ogan is in there, the manager of Lewis. Klitschko's people are making a point about it. It's getting a bit tasty in there. One or two people are losing their tempers. And somebody needs to keep it under control. Well, I think it's Klitschko mainly who is the antagonist. He's furious at what's going on. His brother Vladimir trying to calm him down. What did your card say at the point it was stopped? I have Klitschko two points ahead. And I had Klitschko leading two at that point. Listen to the boos. The crowd here believe that Klitschko has got a raw deal if indeed he has lost the fight. This is one of the most controversial finishes in heavyweight history, certainly in recent times. Well, the crowd are on Klitschko's side. It's unsatisfactory, isn't it? It is. I was, I, I was sure that we heard... Um, Billy Klitschko asking Lewis for a rematch. Which I think, by popular demand, he ought to get. Whether Lewis wants that kind of argument again, such a physical hard fight, must be very much open to question. But we believe Lennox Lewis is still the heavyweight champion of the world after the drama. After six grueling rounds of heavyweight championship boxing here at Staples Center, Los Angeles, the bout is called to an end. Referee Lou Moret, acting on the advice of Dr. Paul Wallace at ringside, has called a halt to the contest because of severe injuries suffered by Klitschko. The winner, officially at the end of six rounds by TKO victory and still a heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox. Congratulations, Lennox. You. you said that he had no skill level and that he had no heart. What do you say now? Well, you know, if the fight would have went more, they should have stopped No, the it. fight didn't go more. What happened in the six rounds? What is your impression of him now? He's okay. Hey, what do you want, what do you want me to say? I don't want, I want you to say what you say. It was a much, was it a harder fight than you anticipated? No, not really. You know, I was getting to him. There's no way he could have finished the fight. You look at the state of his face, there's no way. He's lucky the fight was stopped. I was just getting to him and he was just deteriorating anyway. So I don't know what you're talking about. 
I'm just asking you for your impressions because you seem to dismiss him that he could even compete with you. Well, yeah, of course he can compete with me. That's why he's here in the number one position. Well, I understand you were behind on all the judges' scorecards. Listen, he would have got knocked out the, the next couple of rounds. It was, it was just a matter of time. He was definitely deteriorating. So I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, I'm telling and, you what and, the score is. Huh? I'm not telling. I'm just telling you what the scoring of the officials was. Oh, okay. So, anyway, the, the referee's what? the referee's lucky he stopped the fight. Anyway, look at the state of his face. Would you say now that he has no heart? Well, you know, you would have seen the next couple of rounds. He would have probably. He, so he would have probably give him any credit. It seems. I do. I do give him credit. He's not. He's in number one position. He's my mandatory. I gave him a chance to fight, and you know, I dismissed him in the sense of, you know, I got him. Look at the state of his face. What made him difficult to fight? Yeah, you know, he's got a. He's, he's got a. He's got an unusual style, European style. Plus, I only had a week to prepare for it, so you know. He seemed to be able to somehow avoid your big right hand. How did he do that? Well, I, I wouldn't say he avoided them. And uh, yeah, like I said, the next couple of rounds would have told the whole thing. Were you tired? You looked like you were tired as well. Oh, I was just getting my second win, Larry. Were you hurt by a punch in around the second round? It seemed that it shook you a little bit. Were you surprised? Did it wake you up? Yeah, it definitely did wake me up. You know, we're big guys. Any punch from both of us is going to hurt. So, you know, I hurt him a couple of times, even more, than, more times than he hurt me. Was your plan to make it this kind of a, of a brawl because you felt that he had never been in such a fight and that he could not go a distance? He, you know, I still feel he, he cannot go the distance with me. As you can see, he was definitely deteriorating. That's why I was trying to stay close to him and slugging it out, because he's never been in, the, in a dog fight. Most of his fights that I've seen, he's just stayed back and basically jabbed, did what he wants, and uh, that's what happened. So I, I, my, my plan was just to go in there, dog him, stay close to him, make him throw a lot of punches. I don't like recall I your being in too many dog fights like this. This was a tremendous fight for six rounds. Yeah, I, I, wanted, to be, I wanted to be in a dog fight. I know when the going gets tough, the tough get going. I'm tougher than him. Could you see through the eye? I see. I see very well. I don't know why this uh, doctor stops the, the fight. I feel me very well. I can fight. I know. It's Lennox Lewis promised to knock me in five rounds. I know. Why? Why you know? Because he don't have condition in five rounds. How could you tell he wasn't in condition? He's very heavy. I saw every punch. He don't punch me very hard. This was not. It's. it's you know, it's everyone. So I'm. I am good prepared for this fight. I. I, I take every one jab. Uh, I, I punch him with, with every one jab. How were you able to avoid his right hand? Could you see it that easily? Uh, I, you, you know, you know, it's he not never one time punch me very hard with my right hand, right, right hand, because I saw every punch. I saw every punch. He's a good fighter. He make great fights. I know in this fight when doctor don't stop, I win this fight. I win this fight by point. You know, you can see my fight record. I can knock in first round. I can fight this last round and knock him in 11 or 12 rounds. I want rematch. When when doctor stop stop the fight, I won't fight again. I show for everybody I can be lose. Will you give him a rematch? You know, if it calls for, if the money's right, yeah, definitely. 